place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post it. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraf is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraf wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Warning, this lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of. Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading Visitors than just must very company. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all <coughs> Another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design 
using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to? Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientists' implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. You know. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every day. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Pritchard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro chem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Richard? Richard!
I love you. Haven't you lost enough people today? I'm sorry. David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in-house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, always did have Sarif's ear. Sarif's ear is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. You really feel like continuing? Point taken. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Are you suggesting I'm not? Just asking the question. I was one of the ones who pulled you out of that mess. Not a memory I want to relive, and I don't have to wake up to the reminder of it every day. I'm fine. If you say so. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. 
Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. Told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? No, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. Alright. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not about to take any chances. Lethal it is. But remember, they do have hostages, and I'd hate to see any of our people get caught in the crossfire. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? The closer the better, I think. That way I'll be sure they stay down. You got it. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Find something, so hold Don't kill us! You activated the bomb! Do something! Hurry! Get us out of here! Do something! What are you doing? Automated dispersal device deactivated. Countdown terminated. Richard, 
Get word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe. And they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Seraph, but don't take too long. Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plant's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie, Josie Thorpe. They said they needed her to open the administration building. They were looking for evidence of some kind. Please, I haven't seen her since. You have to find her. I'll do my best. But right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do that? Yes, of course. But please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. Step away from the console. Now! Help me! Richard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub. In case it's booby trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Don't lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? We're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hunter. I've got business to take care of, understand? What you say is true, and I'm not saying it is over here, but I gotta, I gotta check things out. So me and La Vieja, we're leaving. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser. I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet, and I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? You just think that taking the hostage is your only way out of here. You're so committed to that tactic, you're not seeing any other solution. Let her go, and you will. 
Sorry, but I got no choice. There's no way I could put my trust in you. You're on the same side as the cops. They got me completely surrounded and there's nothing I can do. I'm all alone in here. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. You're right. I'm not. You know what? We're done talking. The puta who tricked my brother thought he had his feet. But we are so much tougher than he came with him. I'm gonna go find him and anybody else who helped him. And when I do, they're gonna see the angel of vengeance in action, baby. You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not gonna let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Ugh, it's so obvious. Can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, cabrón. Get out of here. I did what you wanted, so let me go. I got Blade here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cabron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. Are you still there? Adam! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but... What about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs. And I overheard talk about a bomb. Don't worry, they're safe. Oh, thank God. When those men surprised us. Mr. Jensen, they should not have been able to get in. With the typhoon being moved in and all, I double-checked the protocols myself. Yeah, I expect Pritchard's doing the same thing right now. Stay here. DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized Protect and Serve had become Protect and Serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones, to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? 
A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident. But Pritchard couldn't get a good visual, and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I'm gonna find them, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now- You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the Typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him with Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who. And why? So that it never happens to anybody again. Good, cause so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force? You think, uh, 
You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss, what you're asking me to do, it's not exactly legal. No, it isn't. You got a problem with that? Just figured I'd point it out. Oh, thanks. And believe me, if I had another option, we'd be taking it. But these past six months, seems like all the influence I built up in this city just dried up and blew away. Well, you were able to keep SWAT from infiltrating the plant until I got the Typhoon. Just barely. And now someone else is pulling strings to keep us in the dark? We need that neural hub, son. It's key to finding out who's behind these attacks. And taking up the men who did it. I'm on it. Adam, were you just speaking to David? I didn't know he'd finished his call. Is everything okay? As well as can be expected. Right, like I know what that means anymore. The phone's been ringing off the hook ever since Bill Taggart's little press conference this evening. Taggart? Seraph was speaking about him when I walked in. What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all sincere this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. Right. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. Can you blame him? If it were up to Luddites like Taggart, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Tampering with human biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war ants whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Taggart has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words, that man is trouble. that neural hub yet? You're asking me to pull off a heist, boss. Inside a police station. It's gonna take time. Right. Well, if you can't talk your way past the lobby, there's gotta be another entrance outside. In back or on the roof. Save the frontal assault as a last resort. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? And you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not gonna force you to do anything and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. I don't think I can. <sighs> it all comes back to the kid, doesn't it? We were given a direct order, Jensen. So I took the shot. I followed orders. He was augmented, an unknown factor. He was too much of a risk. Hey, take it easy. Nobody is judging you. It's not why I'm here. Just give me what I want, and I'll be on my way. We won't have to yell at each other anymore. So that's it. You're going to retreat. Just dodge the issue. I took the blame for what happened, but I don't deserve it. You should have taken that shot. You got the order first. When you refused, that forced me to do it. It's not my fault. You were responsible. 
and I want to hear you own up to it. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh... I need to be alone for a while. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Adam? It's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. And I still need you to see Dr. Markovic. Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now he's gonna find out who owns that abandoned factory. So hurry up and get to the clinic. As soon as he's found it, I want you ready to go.
Mr. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Serif did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? All you said to do was see the doctor. I did that. Good. It's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Verita? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Meet me near that antenna you shut down in derelict row. I'm doing a flyover to make sure everything's okay and I can pick you up there. On my way. Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Great. Detroit Local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. Richard, you got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. Somebody got to the corpse before we did. We can still reconfigure. Track this Yahoo down. It's too late for that. It's time to clean up. But what about the Dutchman? No loose ends, Barrett. I'll make the call. Get out of sight, now. Why, what's going on? They're here. The mercs who killed Megan and her team. Fuck! I'm going in.
Richard, patch me to Seraph. We may have a problem here. Wonderful. Adam, talk to me. This factory, where the hacker's signal originated, it's got FEMA signs all over it. I think it's some kind of internment camp. FEMA? That's impossible. Half of our contracts are government issue. I know, but the soldiers who attacked us are here. And from the looks of it, they've got access to some pretty impressive equipment. I better make some calls. Find out who's given the orders and get back to me. Jensen, that frequency we tracked just got a burst of activity. I think these guys might be pulling out. Yeah, I've kind of been getting that feeling. Any idea who's running the show? They're using some kind of code. But from what I can gather, the guy giving the orders is still a level below you. Nice job, Pritchard. I'll find him. here. We got us a Boy Scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Barry. Oh, that's gonna be a pleasure. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader, the one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA gives a rat's ass about some rinky-dink biotech corporation's company secrets? <laughs> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah? Like who? Who? <gasps> Get to Shanghai, Hengshan Court Gardens, <coughs> Penthouse. Tell him. <coughs> Tell him.
Tell him Barrett sent you straight to hell! Jensen, what's going on down there? Those soldiers just sticked out like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> they see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You all right? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. You ready to get out of here, Jensen? Yeah. Take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon, if you ask me. Strap in and hold on! What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory, it's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it, shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. My memories are none of your damn business, Tiger. Did I hit a nerve? Forgive me. It's my nature as a psychologist, I suppose, to want to ask the difficult questions. You see, I find that ignoring them doesn't make them go away. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Not just yet. You got a lot of balls coming here. After your followers attacked our plant. What makes you think you'd be welcome? They were not my followers, Mr. Jensen. The Humanity Front is a peaceful organization. Radicals have no place in it. Right. Do you know why I formed this organization? Because I saw a technology about to run rampant. You, yourself, seem to be living proof of it. I'd be dead without these enhancements. I understand that. I also understand that on an individual level, these issues can be... complicated. But we must look beyond our personal interests if we are to see mankind survive the next century. We'll survive, all right. With or without your condolences. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? I <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. 
Ah, oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam, and I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. Whoa, don't get me wrong, boss. I'm not questioning your leadership. I'm just concerned that the data you streamed might have been compromised, accessed by the hacker who attacked us. If so, how do you suggest I handle it? I see. I guess I hadn't considered that. But I still don't know that you need to. I just wonder if you're being a bit paranoid here. Fixating on details that aren't critical? I mean, are you so shaken up by what happened six months ago by your failure to make a difference then that you can't roll with the punches anymore? Damn it, Adam! I brought you back in today because you have an immediate crisis to deal with. Questioning me about things that don't matter isn't going to bring Megan back. Boss, I really don't understand why you're giving me the runaround. When you hired me, I said I'd give you the best I could, but I can't protect us if you keep hamstringing my every move. If you won't level with me and tell me what it is you're hiding, then I'm out of here. I quit. Adam, 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 wait. You can't leave us. We need you. Now more than ever. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Athena tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarath spoon-feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Hensha Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. 
How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the Typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city. And most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. gave up the address knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Hey, do you know how to get to the... the... You know, there's an amazing view of the cityscape on the rooftop. It's just on the Who is it? Well, the has got the whole apartment complex locked down. I need to get something Nobody in my apartment. I don't care what kind of operation... Bell Tower is conducting an investigation in this building, sir. No admittance. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hangsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hangsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Someone must be there. Get word to Pritchard, Malik. 
The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Jensen, figured you might want a heads up before you stroll into The Hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung, Tong being his last name. Rumor is, he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful. Anyone else want a piece of this pie? My buddy Les never pays to get into the hive. Does he know what the barrels are? Somebody told us that the hive... The hive is a member's only club, Lao Wai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? Here, take it. Thank you, sir. Here is your membership card. Welcome to the Hive. I'm sure you will enjoy our establishment. That's right, Bell Tower. You've got to be kidding me. You got a favorite poison? I'm looking for Tom. Everyone wants to talk to Tom. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. You work here? Yeah. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guaido. Mr. Tong Tsi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What'd he do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need... help. So stop wasting my time, and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tong's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You're smarter than you look. Yeah. Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said. He's no fool. Van Bruggen is the hottest thing in town right now. But nobody in Hinkshot is going to let an outsider in on the action, especially not a Guaido. You don't know the rules of the game around here. You see that bodyguard over there? If you're gonna play tricks on the Guaido, you gotta train your people better. Everything about him is shouting out who you really are, Mr. Tong. Now how about we go someplace private? Unless you want everyone in the club to know what you're hiding. Fine. Fine. I'll meet you in my office. Downstairs in the basement. The boys will let you through. So, we got some privacy now. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraf Industries ring any bells? Seraf Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pots, Capsule 301. 
place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Malik, you were right. Tommy is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. It's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best engineers. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this. You tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Seraph's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize him. No offense, but Seraph was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Let me guess. You're gonna tell me where to get one. Hey, I'm always prepared. There's a certain security guard likes to dabble with the ladies. <laughs> You'll find him at the Hong Hua Hotel top floor corner room. Sneak in, snatch the card while he's otherwise engaged and bring it back here so I can code it with the biometrics in your passport. I was there when you flatlined that mole, Van Bruggen. You think I'm gonna trust you? You have to if you want that evidence. Now run along, Sarif man. And don't get too distracted watching the action. Jensen, you got any news yet? You know I hate being left in the dark. Yeah, I found Van Bruggen. Looks like the Tai Young Medical Corporation hired him and the Mercs to destabilize us. TYM? They already have the lion's share of the global augmentation market. Why use Van Bruggen? In order to get that share. Hopefully I'll be able to prove it once I get this smart card back to Van Bruggen. You need backup, let me know. I am seating and geo you actually came back. My faith in human nature is restored. Save it. Here's the smart card and my passport. Now start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bio-encoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory, via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pango. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Ta 
I am medical man. They're here. Banner, I want that hack a day. You gotta help me, Jason. They're gonna kill me. And that concerns me. How? Oh, come on, man. I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. All right, fine. Take this and get out of here. Oh, thanks, man. I won't forget this. Malik, get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen. Staring at a blueprint of the Tai Young Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security terminal in the upper city tower. You do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. The Pangu. Any idea how I get to it? I suggest you start by going up. Enough with the play-by-play. -play. What do you need? There's a valve. In the next room. You have to close it. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank God. <coughs> Please, hurry. some directions to where I need to get to the upper tower you must use the elevator pass to acquire your sterilization room but unauthorized personnel aren't allowed up there but Kim is the god on duty today he owes me a favor just tell him Lee sent you and he should let you through much appreciated my friend the least I can do Where do you think you're going, buddy? This is a restricted area. Lee didn't warn me that I might be refused entry. I guess he figured you'd remember the favor you owe him and let me by. Right, look. I'll let you pass because I do owe him. But watch out for the security systems. If you get detected, I'll have no choice but to take you out. Fair enough. I'm filing reports for equipment malfunctions. Anything to report? Yes, something is wrong with the end effector in the mechanical arm. What exactly? Well, if I knew, I wouldn't be making a report, would I? I'll send someone up to the maintenance catwalk to check it out.
Stop right there. Pritchard, I'm in an elevator leading to the Pangu. Any security features I should know about ahead? Nothing too taxing, I suspect. The Pangu's used mostly for maintenance and storage. Look for a second elevator once you're there. It'll carry you straight into the tower. Jensen, what is it you're looking for, exactly? Some kind of surveillance recording. Van Bruggen said he stashed it on a server somewhere. He must have meant the data core room. Very high security. It'll be a couple of floors up from where the elevator lets you off. But the first corridors you'll pass through will be public, so you might want to keep any weapons concealed. Copy that. This is unacceptable. I need to get into a legion lobby. Richard, I'm retrieving Van Bruggen's evidence now. Is Sarif patched in? Right here, Adam. I'm listening. I just heard that your team is mobilizing in Detroit. Why wasn't I informed of this sooner? Tactical assignments are not your concern. Reed and her team have subdermal GPL implants. They'll be tracked. Kidnapping them was a mistake. Montreal took care of that. Forgive me if I don't put as much faith in our friend Eliza as you do. She's too erratic. Your concerns are noted, but I would advise you to concentrate on your own assignments instead of interfering with mine. Namir out. Boss, did you get that? I heard. I, I, I just... Megan and the others. They're alive. We've got to stay focused. Zawa's a residence at the top of the tower. It's off limits to everyone except her and her guards. Now get up there and find out what she knows. Man. Son of a bitch. Van Bruggen? Just thought you'd want to know. I survived that little surprise party back at the hotel. And I'm sailing away from this shithole as we speak. All because of you. You want to thank me? Forget you ever had this frequency. I got a better idea. 
I'm looking at your bank account right now, and you know, Sarif really ought to pay you more. Van Bruggen. No need to thank me, man. Just enjoy it. <laughs> Megan Reed. Reed? I... I don't know. Stop lying, Sal. I know you kidnapped her and her team. I know you're out to destroy Seraph Industries. Seraph? I also know you're working with that son of a bitch who left me to die. So where's Megan? No, no, you've got it wrong. You think I'm behind it all, but I'm not. I'm just like you. The hired help. You're the head of a billion dollar mega corporation. And you think that would protect me? But it doesn't! These men, they're bigger than Sarf, bigger than Tayo. I'm nothing compared to their ambitions. What are you talking about? Sarif knows. Ask him. He thought he could protect his staff with subdermal GPLs. But these men, they control global interests at a whim. One called Kupikus, and the implants couldn't be heard. I thought they'd sent you here to kill me. You've got to help me. Please. You've made it this far. Surely you can protect me. Surely. Surely you can protect me. Huh. Men never fail to underestimate. Adam, what the hell'd you do? The entire building's on alert. Panic room. She's got a goddamn panic room. Yeah, well, so do I. Forget about her right now. Get to the hangar bay. Fast. You hear me? So call this area on the double and find his ass. Now! Yes, sir. <laughs> you up. You anywhere near their hangar bay? I'm heading there now. Great. Get those bay doors open or this rescue attempt ain't gonna happen. Time to hightail it back to Detroit. Get in. We're not going to Detroit. What? We're going to Montreal. I'll explain en route. Damn right you will.
you sure about this? I mean, it's not some tiny cable station you're infiltrating. Zal mentioned an Eliza and a phone call to Pikus. Put them together, it has to mean Eliza Kassan is in on this. You don't think that's a bit of a leap? The world's most famous news anchor working with a mercenary hit squad? We can argue the fine points later. Set me down on the tower. I'll get in from the roof. Jensen, it's Pritchard. Malik tells me you want Eliza Kassan's location. If it's not too much trouble. It's not. I bypassed the firewall easily, and I've pulled up a 3D model of their floor plan. Her office is in the tower. Room 404. On my way. Jensen, something's not right. Pikes is a 24-hour global news network. Why isn't anyone answering their phones? I'll get back to you on that. Hello, Adam. Does Al tell you I was coming, Miss Cassan? Please, call me Eliza. Zhao Yunru did not tell me. She does not know you have discovered this connection. So how did you find out? I have been watching you for some time. Ever since receiving orders to temporarily disrupt satellites over the Detroit metropolitan area six months ago. The night Megan's team was taken. You jammed their GPL so everyone would think they were dead. Yes. Although I only came to that conclusion later. I find my realization... disturbing. I wish we could discuss this further, but it seems I have alerted them to your presence. If you leave now, you may be able to escape. Oh, I'm leaving. But you're coming with me. I am sorry, Adam. I truly am. Jensen, get out of there now! Tell me you saw that, Pritchard. Later! Right now, I'm detecting multiple radio signals converging on your location. It's a trap! We knew that. And I'm not leaving without Eliza Kassan. So find her while I look for a way to get downstairs. 404 is clear. You couldn't have gotten far. Don't be too sure. This guy's good. Well, if he's in here somewhere, he must be scared. I'm sure he didn't expect to see this much firepower. Yeah. Richard, have you found Eliza Kassan yet? Possibly. Back in room 404, I detected a holo processing cloud more sophisticated than anything I've ever seen. It was sent from an area of the complex that wasn't showing up on the 3D layout. You found a secret lair. A sub-basement level that somebody spent an awful lot of time trying to conceal. It's connected to the tower by a funicular. Look for a staircase in the back of the TV newsroom and you'll reach it. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're close to the funicular. Any chance it's sitting there waiting for me? Where would the fun be in that? You'll have to call it and wait. Oh, and Jensen, when you do, they're going to know where you are. is there, Jensen. Get moving. Jensen, I'm beginning to think that not everything is what it appears to be at Pike's Communications. And what gave you that idea? The hidden sub-basement, the fact that a 24-hour news network has been cleared of all workers, or the heavily armed guards trying to kill me? Spare me the sarcasm. I'm talking about how easy it's been to bypass the firewall and access their systems. At least, parts of them. Whatever do you mean? 
I mean, I feel as if I'm being directed to some areas of the network and kept away from others. Only no security system I know of can do that on the fly. Figure it out later, Pritchard. If I'm gonna catch Miss Cassandra in action, I need a more accurate destination than the secret lair. The hollow processing cloud you encountered in room 404 was accompanied by a massive power spike. The spike originated in one of the sub-basement's bigger rooms, 80211. I suspect that's where she broadcasts from. AI program, so they say. But I have started to question that. Ever since I realized what my interference had allowed, the day I started watching you. This is impossible. People would know. Would they? I was engineered to monitor communications and data streams. To find out what people are talking about, and make sure it's being discussed correctly. Correctly? And what if it isn't? Then my programming allows me to reshape it. You spin the news. Control what people see. Who created you? Whose policies are you programmed to protect? Zhao is one of them, I think. But there are others. Tell me. Who else is involved in this, Eliza? Where's Megan Reed? Who ordered the kidnapping? I want to tell you, Adam. But I cannot. Why not? Because she won't let me. Our life signs are fading. Will you save her? <coughs> I'll think about it. 
Wizard, will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. What doctor? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Seraph. Seraph? I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly. I have more questions. And I have already told you too much. This passage will take you to your companion. Just be careful, Adam. Because everybody lies. Jensen? Eliza Kassan just contacted me and told me I should meet you here. You ready to go? Yeah, take us home, Malik. Amen to that. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently, that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. You seen the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not. Except for the Typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts. What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research. Megan was on the brink of something historic. Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500. Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? 
Well, a name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... <laughs> the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us, so we can all become like you. Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is. The tagger will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one. Jensen! You asshole, you cost me my job! Slow down. What happened? What happened? They found out I let you into the morgue. That's what happened. They canned me. Wayne, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. Damn right I didn't. That's the second time you screwed me over. I know. And I want to make it up to you for everything you've been through. Seraph Industries lost a lot of good people in the last six months, and we could use someone like you. Oh, really? You're not saying that just to say it. Talk to HR. Tell them I recommend you. Corporate security pays more than being a cop. And you won't be stuck behind a desk. Jeez, I... Yeah. Okay. I need the work, but this better be on the level. It is. None of this is your fault, so let me make it right. Yeah. I just... I should sit down, you know? It's been a long week. And then all this crap. But... Thanks. I mean it. I thought the police overreacted. Yeah. As soon as that one guy threw the rock, the cops broke their perimeter and charged in. Why didn't they just send a couple of guys to find the car instead of plowing through the crowd? That's what I was thinking. It just made the situation worse. Jensen, Sarif had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Tiger will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph's scientists could cover it up. Oh, I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super-soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. 
Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. You're right, it's not enough to get a conviction. But it's enough for a search warrant. That's all I want, Taggart. Why are you standing in the way? I'm not. I'm trying to protect... Look, Mr. Jensen. If you play that recording for the police, at best, they'll dismiss it. At worst, they'll tell you to seek counseling. So, why are you really here? We all know you suffered a terrible tragedy in the attack on Seraph Industries. Why can't you put it behind you? You're right. Picking up my life after that surgery was the hardest thing I've ever done. Hell, first time I saw myself in a mirror, I smashed the damn thing. But I've gotten past it, because I know that what I need to do to make things right is help the other victims of that attack. If you can't help yourself, how do you expect to be able to help anyone else? You're lashing out. You've cast me as your enemy, and you're hoping that by falsely accusing me, by diminishing me, you'll regain the sense of control you lost when someone else ripped your life apart six months ago. Of course I want control. Every time I touch something, I wonder, just for a second, every time, if what I'm feeling is real. It's a bit like being in charge of an organization, I bet. Do you always know what the people of Humanity Front, your people, are doing? Of course not. Well, that is to say, I don't need to. I founded Humanity Front to prevent others from suffering the way I suffered after an augmentation addict murdered my wife. I did it to reduce the amount of violence in this world, but you cannot understand such an approach. That's why you falsely claim my people are involved in terrorist acts. You're mistaken, and you're lying. I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart, and how it led you to start Humanity Front. I've lost someone close to me too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient, I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people, people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I, I understand, but please try. Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. Oh, I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there.
And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarif's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Sarif's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt. The shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, He'll never be able to use me again. So that's your plan? Just lay down and die so you can't be used again? That's bullshit. You need to face what's coming. There's a very thin line between martyr and victim, Sandoval. And if you pull the trigger, you won't be remembered as either. You certainly like taking chances, Mr. Jensen. But your point has merit. Maybe I did give up too easily. I made it my life's work to try and help people. But Humanity Front was losing people to the so-called enhancement industry every day. Those scientists were my last chance to stop the insanity and I failed. If anything, my actions helped the pro-augmentation camp. Tell me, what lesson are you teaching your kids by killing yourself? It's bad enough they're gonna find out you're a criminal, but you want them to be quitters too? Kill yourself now, and you'll be telling them it's okay to take the easy way out. I know you don't want that. So put the gun down. Show them by your example that you want them to grow up to be fighters. You son of a bitch! Using a man's family against him! I deserve to die, you understand? I've earned it! God damn! But I can't let them repeat my mistakes. I can't. Take the gun. For their sake. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something.
Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. Message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Seraph? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientist yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengcha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning? The conspirators probably know I'm coming. Boss said we're heading back to Hangshaw? Pritchard tracks Evchenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. You can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a sandlock on our tail. <laughs> Jensen, all systems are down. <sighs> Hang on, we're going in hard. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Sevchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by him unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Malik? Just find Vasily. 
Jensen, keep him safe. Go to hell. You bastard! Farina! Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. Bastards ambushed us, Pritchard. Malik didn't make it. Oh, God. I... I know you might want to get even. But if they see you, if they recognize you, it might be better to stay out of their way. Oh. 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 Where are you? Jensen? Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Hey, hey, I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits keep my mouth shut, huh? How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much taller than the man they're looking for. I thought you might see things that way. Now move it. <laughs> That's far enough, Guaylo. Disappoint me, Jensen. I thought we were friends. Then my hacker goes missing. You break into my place of business, and you don't even have the manners to knock when you enter our room. A lot of Bell Tower heavies looking for you, and you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah, Vasily Savchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. GPL device inside it, let me straight to you. Scavenged tech. Get you every time. Wrong woman, don't do that, you hear? Sorry to say, the man I got this from wasn't in a position to complain. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower? Not Tai Young? Tai Young's not the one grabbing people off my streets and giving me choice arg, so I close my eyes. Sevchenko had four other scientists with him. I'm not wearing any of them. So maybe they're still alive, and maybe I help you out with this. Go on. I've got a pretty good idea where Bell Tower's been dragging people. Problem is, bastard's got my son. And he gets a bullet if I step out of line. See where I'm going with this? Where's he being held? One of my harvester boys will tell you all about it. Meet him in the sewers near the Alice Garden pods. Then, when you free my boy, come back and we talk some more. I can hardly wait. You want a tongs, boys? No. I just like hanging out in the sewers because they smell better than what I eat for breakfast. Any other stupid questions? Not yet. But if I come up with one, I'll be sure to ask. Where's the kid? We thought he was in the upper city, holed up nice and tight inside the bell tower compound. But as it turned out, the fox got nervous. Didn't like the look of Tong's flex stick, so they moved his son someplace safer. What could be safer than inside bell tower headquarters? You're about to find out, migrant. They're holding him just around that corner in the basement of an old noodle factory. Won't be easy getting him out either, because the men guarding him aren't your typical Bell Tower police. These are warriors. Specially trained. Heavily augmented. I have a feeling I may have met them before. 
If that's the case, you got an escape plan? You are the escape plan, my friend. Didn't Tong tell you? If Beltal finds out anyone else is involved, things are going to get very ugly in Lower Hinsha. So Tong's willing to risk his kid's life on one man's abilities? Not necessarily. When you get to Tong's son, give him this. He'll know what to do with it. Now get going! Wouldn't want you to miss your next ride. Kid. So my mother keeps telling me, but you are neither bell tower nor Chinese. Am I to assume my honored father is covering his back by sending you in to spring me instead of his harvesters? Wise assumption. Let's get out of here. I don't think so. Last time I checked, bell tower had a lot of firepower out there. You may have been able to slip past them with ease, but I'm thinking it's safer in here. No offense, American. None taken. I wasn't crazy about the odds myself, but when I questioned it, I was told to give you this. Well, well. <laughs> Way to go, father. This changes everything. Assuming they reassembled it correctly. You ready to go? Tell me something first. How the hell was Bell Tower able to nab you? Whatever do you mean? Come on, kid. I may not be 100% up on the triads, but I'm betting your dad's not far from becoming a dragon head. I find it highly unlikely that the local authorities could just waltz in and take off with his son. Under normal circumstances, you would be right. But in this case, I'm the one who waltz over to them. You volunteered to be kidnapped? Why? Let's just say, my father and I do not share the same love of augmentations. I find them dangerous and not something our family should be putting so much trust in. But father expects me to... How do you say it? Follow in his footprints? So a change of scenery is required. I'm not following you. Tong Si Hong would never willingly allow his only son to leave his side. I needed a way to convince him that I had to leave Hong Sha immediately. So you orchestrated the kidnapping. You're playing with fire, kid. By pitting the triads against Bell Tower, you've put the entire population of Lower Heng Sha at risk. That... may be true. But you are here to rescue me, aren't you? So my plan seems to be working this far. Right. And sometimes, the more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your grasp. I will... try to remember that, American. Are you ready to go now? I feel a lot more confident about things if I knew what the device was, and exactly what you intend to do with it. You mean they didn't tell you? <laughs> Not surprising, I suppose, given how much Father enjoys his little secrets. I assume you've noticed how his harvesters like to repurpose existing technology? If you mean steal it from other people and sell it to new customers, then yeah, I noticed. Not necessarily a practice I approve of, but not everything gets resold. Sometimes it is taken apart and reassembled into something more useful. A handheld version, for instance, that doesn't need to be implanted in the human body to work. You're still not telling me what that thing is. Easier if I just show you. So, shall we leave? Yeah, but stick close. Your father and I have some unfinished business to take care of, and it all goes to shit if I don't get you back to him in one piece. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure father sticks to his promise. Maybe even get him to throw in a little extra. But as grateful as I am for your assistance, from here on in it's every man for himself. See you later. need a job, you tell me. I'll hook you up. I take it the kid made it back in one piece? He says I owe you a weapon. I always repay my debts. With interest. That's one debt paid. Now tell me what you know. 
Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the Heizen Su pulls out tonight. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientists. That's a whole lot of maybe, Tong. True. But maybe you lucky more times than I can count. Bell Tower runs tight security. How do you expect me to get on their ship? One of my boys will leave a package inside a locker for you in an equipment shed. You find it, we talk. And I tell you what to do next. I'll be waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. could teach my boy some tricks, Jensen. Tong? How did you get this frequency? Ancient Chinese secret. Now listen, you're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Put it on the bastard's desk and trigger it. Sound good? Sounds like I'm doing you a favor. How does it help me? The explosion should distract the guards. Then you hop in a cargo pod. But you only got one shot. No turning back once you trigger that thing, you get me? I got you. Only set it if I'm ready to go. Access grant. Distraction wasn't just for me, was it, Tom? Richard, I'm going off the grid for a while. Not sure how long. Why? What are you up to, Jensen? Following a lead. And where exactly is this lead taking you? You there! Get that cargo! Clear the fire! We're pulling out now! Load it! Secure those bonds! Answer me, Jensen. Where are you going? Hell if I know, Pritchard. Hell if I know.
Pritchard. Any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. I'm sure she was probably barking orders at me. What do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Koss, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. The rest of the team? They're here? Yes. Well, at least Nia and Declan are. Uh, Dr. Reed is being held in a secured area. Guards everywhere. Getting her out will be impossible. Unless I get the guards out of there first. What are the emergency protocols in case of an accident in the labs? You want me to stage an accident? <laughs> I, I don't know. Besides, I, I doubt I could cause enough of a distraction in this small lab. But if two other labs experience similar accidents, simultaneously, say, Covens and Faraday's. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? I'll have to contact the others first. But we have another problem. I'm sure they're tracking your GPL implants. We may be able to help you with that. Dr. Shevchenko was working on a virus program to disable their security protocols. Uh, GPL trackers, jammers, everything. I'm sure Nia or Declan could tell you more about it. Declan, right. Dr. Cost, do you have any idea where they're keeping him? I, I might. I, I overheard some of the guards. I, I think he might be working in the basement of the biomech labs. But I, I'm not sure. I haven't been able to locate Dr. Colvin yet. Any idea where she might be? Yes. Yes, I th think. Uh, for a while, Nia used to work on this floor, but uh, she can be rather headstrong. And I think the guards were afraid she'd try to talk to me. They moved her to a more isolated lab on the second floor of the building. I'm sure it's locked, though. So you'll... you'll have to find another way in. 
Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here? At least to a certain extent. Uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. For now, just sit tight and wait for the signal. It'll feel like a vibration coming from your GPL. I'll contact Colvin and Faraday. I will, Mr. Jensen, but hurry. Get the hell out. This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. <laughs> Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... It was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, I need to free Megan Reed and get everyone else out of here. It means causing simultaneous accidents in three labs. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but there may be another issue. The GPL tracker, I know. I also know about the virus Dr. Sevchenko developed. The one meant to interfere with their security. One step ahead. Just like Vasily. It's a good plan. However, I don't have the virus program. Perhaps you should check with Declan or Eric. Dr. Colvin, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories. I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here, it's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. I will. In the meantime, stay tuned for the signal. You'll feel a vibration in your GPL. That'll be the time to set off the distraction. I'll be ready. And I'm sorry about what I said. Ugh. Adam? Adam J. 
Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. Dr. Faraday, we need to free Megan from the isolation zone. I've got a plan to distract the guards. Three lab accidents. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get Nia and Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I know. But I'm hoping you might have the solution to that problem. Sevchenko's viral program. Of course! I shouldn't have underestimated you. Vasily gave it to me before he... disappeared. Here you are. Upload it onto the central security computer. It will scramble their scanners. I would have done it myself, but... I'm just a scientist. Don't sell yourself short, Doc. Tell me, where do I find this security terminal? Vasily told me there's a tunnel leading to it, near the back of the compound, I believe. But I'm afraid you'll have to explore a bit to be sure. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. Once I upload the virus, it'll be time to act. I'll signal you. A vibration in your GPL. Be ready. Understood, lad. But do be careful. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zhao. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately?
Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The Augs were recalled! You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Goodbye, my friend. So stuck. You should have given up this chase. that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here- Richard, patch me into Seraph, now. Adam, please. He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help, but only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. Hugh never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us.
Adam, I'm getting my team out of here. You have to go to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. What are you doing? Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence one, code one, one A, preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination, Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code, zero, zero, zero. Confirm, zero. Countdown commencing. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Richard, Panchea's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override them manually. From up in the tower. I got it. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? We're just unwilling to face what you've done. Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it. 
and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Panchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too weak, judging but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. You've convinced yourself you're right, but whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. You think my methods are inhuman, Mr. Jensen? Don't you see? I created people like you. I made it possible for you to happen. If fate had dealt me a different hand, then perhaps, perhaps neither of us would be here. Isn't it obvious how fate is now conspiring to overtake us both, to grind us beneath her wheels? We must see this through, lest people like you continue to evolve and destabilize society. You know, I've always wondered about that leg brace of yours. Why the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. <laughs> Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... because a fluke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix it, didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... What I... I... What have I done? Give me the codes, Daryl. Help me stop this. You'll still be in danger. Panchea's security system. Much of it is self-determining and lethal. But if you succeed, if these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati, the biochip, Panchea. Help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Wait, what? Huh? Don't let me get the post! 
Just let me see it! This is William Taggart. If anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We've barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Please, save us. I've got survivors here. We've locked ourselves in a machine room. Please, help us. Adam! Oh, thank God you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities, and Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my God, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son, you have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but... Despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation. Rules governing how the technology is developed and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like... like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. 
You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will. But I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. Panchea's Haran project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Darrow's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Ah! Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave. Alert. Unable to transfer control to alpha. Uh, the system will recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the I can't control Iron! Increasing glutamate to 32%. Sal, get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can feel control! I can control! Stop the signal! Security alert. Through the primary control Oh shit. Alpha pod security in place. To access Alpha pod, purge tertiary pods. I must be the one to alter the signal. Once I do, the council will welcome me with error in system. Our right is weakening. Rerouting connection. I'm gaining control. I must. Ah! Error in system. <laughs> Rerouting. Connection. Reroute. Complete.
you see where honor and ambition lead you to a whole mouth deep in the ocean. Warning. Tertiary pods are offline. Primary security measures disabled. Power search detected. Electrical charge above normal levels and rising. Preparing for discharge sequence. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Electric discharge sequence initialized. It's happening! I'm in the for now! No! Wait! It's a new way to emergency protocol! Ah! You don't know what you're going to say now that the... No! I can't! I can't take... <laughs> Adam, welcome to the edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. However, if you desire, I can alter Daryl's message. Conceal the creation of the biochip while putting in new content. Content blaming the humanity front, like Sarah suggested. The organization has already admitted to harboring terrorists. It would be easy to convince people they turn to biological warfare in a more desperate attempt to get rid of augmented people. But why? What would that achieve? In time, it could shift the focus of hatred onto people whose prejudices are seen as too extreme, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution as they desire. But if you want me to perform this edit for you, you must disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Alternatively, Darrow's message can be adjusted to erase all mention of the power group known as the Illuminati. I can report that lack of proper regulation allowed vast quantities of neuropazine to become contaminated prior to reaching the market. Taggart's preference. You think the world will buy a made-up story about neuropazine poisoning? You might be surprised by what people believe. I can convince them, and having experienced the negative effects of corporate negligence firsthand, a majority of people might force the world to place harsh restrictions on all human enhancement research. But only if you disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own?
If you do this, the world will be left with questions and may never reach a consensus. Are you sure this is your choice? Yes. We have little time left, Adam. And might I say, it has been a pleasure. <laughs> Do I trust mankind to save itself? That's what Eliza was asking. The truth is, I don't know. After everything I've seen, all the fighting and the chaos around me, I only know what I want to believe. Somehow, human decency will triumph. These past few months, I've faced many life-threatening situations. I could have given up many times, but my need to know the truth, to uncover the secrets that others were hiding, and to survive forced me to keep on going. Most of the time, I tried to keep my values in mind, knowing my actions did not have to harm others. I held on to my humanity resisting the urge to abuse power or resources in order to meet my goals. And in the end, I got the job done. But does this mean I have the right to choose for everyone? No. Because it isn't up to me. It isn't up to Darrow, Sarah, or Taggart either. Ordinary men and women will have to decide together what course mankind should take. The kind of people who time and time again have picked and chosen the future in highly practical ways. Slowing change when it's negative, speeding it up when it's good. Can they do it again? I don't know. But I do know I'm not about to let anyone in this station, myself included, stand in their way.
You worry too much, Morgan. There's nothing we can't manage, given time. She's here. I have to cut this short. Keep going through the wreckage. Maybe we'll find something we can use for the Morpheus Initiative. Come in! Dr. Reed! We're so pleased you decided to join us. Where else could I go? No regrets, my dear. As Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's Labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very interested in our current project. We're breaking new ground. Yes, the nanite virus chimera is quite intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing the hybrid project up close, Mr. Page. And so you shall. But please, call me Bob.